Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to do bandwidth test between Raspberry Pi Pico W device and a remote server. I'll be using iperf3 for monitoring bandwidth between these two devices. This is an open source tool available to test bandwidth. You can see the supported operating systems. This supports a lot of platforms. So we'll be monitoring the bandwidth between this particular Ubuntu machine and this Raspberry Pi Pico W device. I have already installed iperf3 here using sudo apt install iperf3. You can see here is already the newest version. I'll be running the server here using iperf3 hyphen s and this will be listening on port number 5201. Now we'll try to connect from Raspberry Pi device. By default, it is not available in this MicroPython. If we execute help and modules, so here we don't have iperf pre install. To install that, we'll go to the package management documentation of MicroPython. You can see here MIP installs packages. It is similar in concept to Python SPIP. But in Python, it will be referring to PyPI index, and this will be using MicroPython lib as the index. You can see the command syntax also. You can import MIP and then MIP install package name. And if you see the GitHub repository, you will have a lot of libraries available here. And if you go to Python ecosystem, iperf3 is already available. We can directly use MIP install package name. Here we will even get a lot of options. You can even install from another website or using JSON, and multiple options are there. But in our case, since it is available, we can just directly execute the command. And you can see here, it is already available. So what we need to do, first we need to connect to wireless network. So I'll copy paste our previous code. All the imports are not necessary here. We just need to import only uTime and network. This will connect to the wireless network. I'm just copying and pasting everything. So this is now trying to connect to the SSID. It got connected. To verify that, we can give WLAN dot is connected. And we are getting two. And this is having internet connectivity. So now I'll import MIP. and mip dot install i will give hyper and before that you can verify the lib directory and before executing this i'll clear this and we give import hyper 3 we are getting an error saying that no module named hyperf3. So I'll paste it and execute it. So it is getting the index and installing this to lib directory. Now, if you refresh this, you will be able to see this is having hyperf3.mpy file mpy file is a pre-compiled code you can go to the documentation so here we can see the description of mpy file so this can improve memory usage and performance since it is a pre-compiled code
is not mandatory to have mpy code you can even put mpy file or py file here let us verify whether wireless is connected it is not connected since i have rebooted this what we'll do i'll copy paste the code again for wireless connection now we can verify the wireless connection w lan dot is connected it is true and we already have iperf3 installed i will import iperf3 and we'll do dir of iperf3 so here we can see the methods we'll be using the client functionality will try to connect to the server we will run this as a server it is already running in 5201 so what we need to do we will give hyperf3 dot client then we need to give 192.168.0.0 that is a remote device IP. There is a typo here. We'll execute the code. So it is sending the request, and we can verify that here as well. So in this way you can monitor the bandwidth between two machines using iperf3 and we have seen how to install a custom module into raspberry pi pico w device i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to use iperf3 for testing bandwidth between pico w device and remote server thanks for watching see you in the next video